do that again so this is my friend brian and he's from oklahoma and he moved to texas he's a texas boy now and it was uh this time around good friday three years ago a friend of mine he actually you drove all the way from oklahoma because he said you need to come try this water you were having an issue i was dying and that was kind of around good friday and three years ago and you came all the way we met lord brought us together for this you tried the water and what happened <laughs> well, when i got there i met gary and all and they said here drink this glass of water so they forced me down two big glasses of canyon water <laughs> and i was really having a hard time breathing and by the next morning i woke up my breathing is a little bit easier i felt better and i think the water rehydrated my lungs and, uh, what did you have? What condition was it called? Pulmonary fibrosis. Yeah. It's basically the same thing a coal miner gets, which is called black lung, except mine didn't come from coal dust. Yeah. And so you had, because uh, you had told me that on Good Friday, three years ago, you, you basically... Almost died. You weren't breathing. Yes. And you couldn't get a breath. Uh-huh. But you drank Kangen water, and I... I think within, you told within me, less than 24 hours. Well, I you was told me better. when you got back home, you were a different man. Oh yeah, I stopped off in Dallas somewhere. Went in, I ate a big old meal. I was feeling good. I mean, it didn't cure me, but it's made my condition a lot easier, and I feel better. I have energy to get out and go do things where before I was just sitting there waiting to die. Well, your doctors had given you only a certain a length, length of, of prescription. Time, yeah. how, much, how long was they your... Gave, they gave me four years plus or minus a little bit. No, but you told me you got a 90, a, what, a six-month supply of medicine because they figured you were Yeah, they gonna... figured I probably wasn't going to make it. Right, and that was over three years ago. Yes. <laughs> The doctors gave me everything I needed. They said, the pulmonologist said, we've taken you as far as we can go. You're done. Here's everything you need going on. But you on. don't like that conga machine. You're going to send it back, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I would no, by no means send it back. And you, uh, you're you here today reordering your turmeric, the Ukon, but you think that... Uh, I think that really helps out, too. I think uh, the turmeric's loaded with collagen, and when you have fibrosis in your lungs, you're, they're no longer elastic anymore. That's what makes it hard to breathe. You, the, the lungs can't expand and contract because they're stiff. I think the, I think the turmeric is putting collagen back into my lungs and making them a little more elastic, which makes it easier to breathe. And there's we're got also to be reducing the inflammation yeah. in the lungs, which you know helps cut back on the mucus and just you know. Well, you. It was well worth my money I spent on it. Yeah, Absolutely. You do it again. I would be dead today if I wouldn't have done it. Absolutely. Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> uh, there you God, go. God points you into uh, areas you never thought you would go. And I, I didn't know. And just all of a sudden, I'm down here. I see Gary. I got something. And it really helped me out. So. Oh, nice. Friends help friends, and this is all about community, and that's the way it used to be with our ancestors. We all help each other, and that's what we're here for. It's it's not about selling something or buying something. This is an investment in your health, and we're here to help you. So God bless you all. God bless you, Brian. Thank you. Thanks for your testimony. See you all again on the next round.